Well, we're on a uh, nice walk in the woods today. It's about 6 p.m. Um, no wind. It's about 60. Uh, really nice in here. And we were all the way down there, and I had to do the crab crab walk up up here, and it's it's steep. So you know what I'm talking about when I mean the crab walk. <laughs> um, Odin's much better. No, we're not going down there. He uh, hadn't eaten for three days because of the fireworks. Um, that's how scared he gets of them. Um, I did give him melatonin last night. That helped him sleep. I tried giving him chicken jerkies, um, ham jerkies that I made for him, um, fish jerkies, and and his food. They wouldn't touch it. She wouldn't even eat her food last night because this the fireworks didn't stop till 5 a.m. Sadly, whoever was uh, shooting them off had no respect. For people that actually have to work for a living you know and anybody else and I'm sure the older folks that live where I live really didn't like it because um, they go to bed early this is one of the two times that I've been in here and I felt like I was being watched. And it's a very unpleasant feeling. But all the hair on the back of my neck is up. And I'm, I'm talking people being, being watched by somebody. And I can, I can smell cigarette smoke too. And that cigarette smoke makes me sick to smell it, but I can smell it. So we're leaving. Um, I should have come earlier, but I was up so late with the dogs, and then I was doing some gaming too, that I actually slept it way too late. So I'm gonna have to set the alarm every every day because I keep I that you know people when they get old are supposed to not need much sleep. Well, not in my case. If I don't set an alarm, I'll. I'll sleep nine, ten hours, which I guess I'm making up for all the time when I was working that I never slept more than four or five hours. Come on, guys. by those uh, ferns. Well, I mean, I love the fireworks and stuff, um, but not not when people are rude and just don't care about other people. Especially working people. What are you looking at, Odin? There's some black squirrels in here. I've never seen black squirrels before. I've seen gray. And when I was a kid, I was bit on the finger by an albino squirrel. Um, because I was stupid, and I'd walk up to anything and just try to pet it or whatever. And it bit me. So, But uh, these black squirrels are pretty cool looking. And um, when she sees things like that, she does this thing, and it, she screams. I've never in my life heard a dog scream, and she actually screams at the at the top of her lungs when she gets excited. Um, and when she saw that squirrel on the tree, she just screamed. It's like her little first warning scream, and then she makes her you know her little noises, but. I don't know if that's a min pin thing or or a chihuahua thing because she's a min pin she's a chihuahua min pin but oh my gosh it's it's ear piercing 
and I wish I would have had the uh, phone on to have caught that because it's just I've had people no we're going this way I've had people um, hear her do that and thought I was throttling her or something and I'm just standing there going no she's letting us out she does that to big dogs who big dogs um she doesn't like she doesn't like any dog but she seems to let a warning scream out for dogs too but not all the time just once in a while but Odin finally ate his food last no not last night this morning or, or when we got up and that we, he, they're on my time so I feed them one, once every 12 hours and uh, twice a day and uh, she's so picky I'm gonna I actually ordered limited ingredient I give them limited ingredient food um, no corn no fillers and I usually get them venison or uh, turkey and stuff I've even gotten them kangaroo um, but because they they both have allergies um, but uh, she's just bored she gets bored with the dry stuff so I actually ordered them both um, a case of canned so I'm gonna start giving them canned food they get the, their beef their jerkies are super hard so that'll help clean the teeth I always was of the belief that you know if you give them canned food they're gonna get plaque which makes sense to me but uh, my dog's teeth are beautiful they aren't full of plaque um, so we'll see I get I get hers come on Odin tomorrow and I did the auto ship once a month from Chewy um, so uh, hers has I forget what hers has his has turkey and he can actually eat chicken chicken's fine so I think it's the oh she got the variety pack she can eat any kind of meat doesn't bother her but he cannot have which is a shame because a million dog foods that are limited in green oh there's a deer right there Scared of me. I gotta look around for that buck. Oh, she's watching me. Where she is. It'd be nice if you could come up to me, but you can't with my dogs, and that's what she's doing. Okay, we're going. Come on, come on, let's go. My dog just saw her. Get going. Come on. Sorry. She was... Whew, she was going to come up to me or here. Come on, guys. Stop it. She's just following us. Come on. Stop. I see her peeking around the corner. Yeah, come on, guys. They don't like, oh, I think they're scared of deer. So I'll have to come in here alone. Um, when I was in the woods, 
in the forest in northern Minnesota. My ex, my ex was a, I want to see if she's following us. My ex was a hunter. I don't like deer meat and I don't have never hunted. And uh, you guys scared her off or him. Come on. And uh, I was sitting in a grassy area. Oh shoot, there's another. Is that the buck? Wait, I can't. I can't tell. I don't have my contacts. In. No, that's a stump. <laughs> um, when I was sitting in the grass, well, I, actually, I was sitting on a log. I was probably 19, and uh, five or six deer came up to me. One was a gorgeous buck that had velvet antlers. His antlers were all velvet. And uh, they had a couple of young ones. And my ex-husband could see me from the distance. He sat down and he was quiet, but he was watching. And it wasn't deer season or anything like that. We were just in the woods building a house. We had been building a house and uh, the deer came up to me and that buck let me pet his horns. I had never felt velvet, but he let me pet him and I, I sat there, and, or I stood there and petted him and he was a big boy. And my ex-husband got the camera out and he, he was, just crap in his pants. He said he's never seen anything like that. These were wild. These weren't like deer that, you know, people are feeding. Um, these were wild deer. And this was a gorgeous buck. And I petted him for a while and I just sat there. And the whole, the whole bunch of them came up. And I, they weren't hurting me or you know, they didn't scare me at all. And uh, we did this for about a half an hour. He didn't let me pet him for a whole half an hour. But um, now I know why I felt like something was watching me in here. It was a deer. I bet the, the other deers are probably with her down, further down. Um, but that was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life. Um, I, I have such a respect. I will not eat wild, never eaten wild meat, I won't touch it. I cooked it for my ex-husband and his, uh, his deer hunting people and the group. I, I cooked some, but uh, I know how to cook it and I can cook it well, but I don't, I don't even like the smell of it. It just smells gross to me. And then I'm not, I just won't touch, I won't touch deer. I, I, one of the reasons that I feel the way I do is one of his brothers <clears throat> was just starting out. He was 15 and they went hunting. My, my ex-husband was a, was a crack, he was a crack shot. He, he always hit him where he was supposed to, to, you know, bring him down immediately and they wouldn't suffer but this kid who was 15 it was his first one and he sadly he I'm not gonna get graphic but he didn't he didn't kill it right away so we all went up and followed the blood trail and uh, I saw it laying there and it was making the most horrible wailing noise that I've ever heard come out of an animal and it just, I had to leave and I was just bawling. And I'm not against people hunting for food at all. It, it, you know, it's their right, but I will never do something like that. And it was horrible. So my ex had to come up and put it out of its misery. But, you know, he was, they were trying to teach the younger brother how to deer hunt. And he felt really bad too. But he just didn't know what to do to uh, 
but so we it was close enough we found it pretty quick and but that noise it made uh it was it looked right at me and it, that noise it made made me just it just tore my heart apart so but we are here at the street and I'm really happy that I got to see the deer, one of the deer. And uh, I'm happy that she, whoever it was, if she or he wasn't afraid of me, it would have probably come up to me if my dogs, if I hadn't have been with my dogs. And you can hear exactly how my dogs are with a wild animal. They're jerks about it, but they, they don't know any better, they're dogs, so. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your week, and I'll see you later.